Hi, Mrs. Samuels. I'm here for the sleepover. So, hey, Z here. And sleepovers have changed a lot since I was in elementary school, so I thought I'd go over the evolution of sleepovers. Now, as a kid, you show up at somebody's house with like a pillow and a bag of shit, and you eat junk food and soda, and you tell secrets, and you try not to fall asleep, and then you eventually fail at not falling asleep. <laughs> you get to high school, right? And while most of the stuff stays the same, the secret telling is more towards the sex stuff. And it just keeps, it just drool. Oh, it, ew. Oh, just in general. <laughs> now, college marks the end of, well, most planned sleepovers and the start of drunken necessity. Planned sleepovers now tend to be less for sleeping, if you know what I mean, and you don't need too much stuff in that case. <laughs> Toothbrush. Since I have a few followers now, I thought I'd ask you guys uh, if you wanted to comment below and tell me what you think the difference is with sleepovers from when you were little to now. Maybe a funny story or two, because I will be reading them, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, catch you later!